You don't need that. First of all, I want to see a show of hands of the people that were here two years ago in April when we had the groundbreaking. Holy cow, what a loyal, dedicated crowd in the back room to see this wonderful place. Anyway, I can't uh, pass over an opportunity to sing and, you know, when I, when I see a group like this. So would you all join me in singing America Hello, the Beautiful? Oh, there's Carol. 
Carol is the one who's getting all the tenant improvements uh, together and happening. And uh, as you see, we're not quite finished with all of our tenant improvements, but uh, uh, we're working on that. She's been doing a great job. Her, along with Doug Evans. Doug Evans is the construction manager for the town square. And he, there's Doug right over here. You know, he's the one that makes it happen. Uh, Rob Alford is his assistant for the superintendent, and uh, and Les Stanton is the one who's going to make this look good at all times. Where's Les? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, we're uh, we are putting together what we feel is a. Uh, team of tenants that we think is going to make our, our town square special. Uh, in this kind of day and age of an economic environment, we all know it's, we're all stressed, but we also know that we're going to get to a better time, and that's what we're working towards, and we're very proud of the people that have joined our team in our quest to be the heart of the Copper Valley, the town square, and the Copper Valley, one of the finest places to live, and that's along with Russ Thomas's visions of the uh, community plan. We think that we're going to, uh, the Copper Valley will all be proud to be a part of, and in a reasonably short period of time. The uh, uh, ribbon cuttings today, there's, uh, I'll first announce those, and then we'll talk a little bit about the, the balance of the tenants that we have on board, and some that we're, we're still working with. Uh, fancy pens, uh, Donna Evans. kitchen store and uh, we talked to her in this morning to uh, sell these aprons. Those are very nice aprons. <laughs> 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 the kitchen store. The uh, Cruiser's Ice Cream Parlor, Steve and Donna Hudson. So they have that, that the, uh, the that's where hence the cruisers came from, and uh, they're very excited. So we so welcome aboard. Twigs, Tim Finnicle and uh, Kathy Krugan. Twigs is going to be the uh, uh, flower shop over here, right in the back of right back of you. The little white building, signs not up yet, but we're getting close, and they worked. Uh, feverishly yesterday and last night and this morning and, and they're gaining on it. I hope you didn't have this morning, but <laughs> thank you for uh, working real hard at it. Uh, they do know how to spell, but uh, Twigs is T-I-G-Z, or did you spell that right? T-W-I-G-Z. T-W-I-G-Z. Twigs is T-W-I-G-Z instead of S. So, uh, uh, Kathy also has a uh, country flower punch up in Murphy's. So, uh, Welcome aboard. And uh, Master Tyler, we're, we're very fortunate to have Mr. Tyler Emeritus with us, Tuli Barton. Tuli is, uh, well, when we first uh, brought him to town, it was uh, Sterling Tyler, and uh, Mr. Uh, Tyler Emeritus has great timing. He sold the business at the peak of the market about four years ago, and uh, it is now Placer Tyler. And Placer Tile is obviously a, a well-known, established uh, a company, uh, and uh, we're very proud to have them on board. Uh, uh, Lori Flamming is the branch manager. Dory O'Brien is escrow officer, and Becky Cooney is escrow assistant. So I'm sure they're standing up there with Tule. Uh, we also have Mid Valley uh, Engineering opening today. Is is Kurt Delmar present? There's Kurt. Right. He's the uh, uh, along with his wife uh, Kathy is the uh, president and CEO of Mid Valley Engineering. Uh, Mid Valley Engineering is a firm that's based in uh, the phone call here. <laughs> uh, it is is based in Modesto and also have offices in Stockton. Uh, we have now shifted all of our operations for all of our future land planning in Copper Valley to MDE. They've been doing a great job. 
is uh, 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 Ryan Vance and Dennis O'Connell here also with MB. They'd just like to introduce them, They're part of their team. Then we have MNC Management, uh, Lori McDonald, is, is she there? There's Lori. Also, uh, Cassie is their uh, uh, manager and she had another homeowner association meeting this morning. They're a, ma a homeowners association management company. They do Saddle Creek and a lot of other communities up in the Copper Valley, plus they're nationwide and, and uh, do a great job. Uh, before we walk around and do the actual ribbon cuttings, just like to kind of let you know what's, what's in store for us here at the uh, town square. Uh, right now, uh, this new team is joining Copper Proper and Eves. Or is Eve here? I mean, Sharon Marshall, sorry. <laughs> This is a, uh, uh, an apparel for women's uh, store, which is right in back of us. She's also planning on doing Eve and the Apple over here, which will be a junior's apparel store uh, next to Coho's. Um, we have the Rising Wolfer Restaurant, which will be on the end of this building. And the Rising Wolfer Restaurant will be a uh, breakfast, lunch, and bakery. Firefall Jewelers will be uh, the, the breezeway going through the town hall building just to the left will be Firefall Jewelers. They also have a store in Angels Camp and uh, Valley Springs. So let me make a little comment on our stores before I finish this and go further. Uh, we do not plan on having the same stores that you see in every town in America. It, you know, it, it's getting kind of homogenized. And so we thought we would be special and offer boutique unique stores. And if another store had one or two in the mother loader, or that's fine, but we wanted to be something special that when you walk, came up to this town, it's, it's kind of fun to go because it's different. And so that's what we are encouraging. And, uh, then we have Fancy Pants. We talked about Fancy Pants. And then the Cruisers and Coho's. Coho's is going to be our coffee house and wine bar. A little bit of a different twist. Uh, that'll be with Ray Thingball. And that, that's on the corner over here with the outdoor fireplace. So it not only, you know, coffees and, and the refreshments, it'll be uh, hors d'oeuvres and wine for the afternoon and evening. Or morning, if you choose to. Yeah. <laughs> uh, we have Bella Vita. Bella Vita is right behind us. Bella Vita will be a home decor and accessories and furnishing store. And uh, um, that should be open soon. We have uh, Coster, Copper Custom Motorcycles. That will be right over here in Building 7. Copper Custom Motorcycles is, is mainly apparel and accessories and the selling of custom motorcycles. Um, we have Renner Winery. Uh, Renner Winery, Dr. Renner is here this morning. Sorry, that was why I was late and just talking. Uh, Renner Winery is going to be over here in the uh, great portion of Building uh, 7. And uh, he has a winery up in Murphy's. We decided that we like to have one wine tasting room versus 12 yeah. in some other towns, but uh, we're very proud to have uh, Dr. Renner on board. Uh, right behind you, we'll have Panini's Restaurant. That will be an Italian restaurant. Uh, that, that will be right at the end of Building 1. Uh, we hope to have that open in September. Billy Kane says we're going to lose our liquor license if we don't, so we're hustling. <laughs> uh, that will that'll be a Northern Italian with steaks. I'm a meat eater. We have Sweet Pea. Sweet Pea is right around the corner in uh, uh, the, the, uh, right across from Cruisers. Sweet Pea will be children's uh, clothing and accessories. R&R uh, &R Western Wear will be between Twigs and Cruisers in uh, uh, the, the Gable Inn building. Uh, then the Mid Valley Engineering, as we talked, will be in building one above. Plaster Title is in building one. Uh, Ortega Associates will be in building six on the second floor. Uh, Copper Valley Realty is in the first building on the right as you drive into town. We'll have uh, Mark Twain St. Joseph Hospital is going to do a 14,000 square foot medical center. The medical center, Rudy's just finishing the plans on that. It'll go behind uh, this group of buildings. It, it, it'll be a full service medical center with uh, Starting out with uh, one doctor, evolving to four doctors, uh, mammograms, x-rays, full service hospital except for uh, trauma and full emergency. So that's very good for our community of Copper Office. 
will have Copper Shell gas station and car wash and convenience store. <laughs> car wash, car wash. <laughs> this will be on the corner on the other side of the cruisers. Do they sell discount gas? Oh, yeah. yeah. We told them we want to see no fives up in that board. <laughs> Uh, then we have Castle and Cook, which uh, obviously we're all a part of, and we're on the second floor of the first building. Uh, the next group of tenants that we're working with that we're pretty confident that we can get is a Mexican grill that's going to be on the building uh, right below my office in building one, on the corner there where the uh, uh, stonework is. We'll have an arts and crafts supply shop, uh, stationery, greetings, and invitation store. Uh, Copper Market, a specialty grocery store is the foundation is behind uh, this building. Uh, we'll have a bank on the corner. We're not quite resolved with the bank yet, but getting close. Uh, we have a Copper Tannery Boutique store. We have a Far East Asian restaurant, which will be on the first floor of Building 6. Uh, Copper Art Gallery, not final on that, but getting close. And then we have 24 uh, lofts uh, that will be on the other side of the medical center, plus 15 town lofts that you see above the, the uh, retail stores. The town hall has 10 of them. There's three behind, behind me, and then two over in this building. The balance of the upstairs will be uh, uh, offices. Going down Tower Street, let me make a comment on, on the, the street days. We, we, what we have chosen to do, is this is historic uh, area of Copper Office. We have a Copper Office historic area, and uh, we're just evolving the entire valley into part of being the original Copper Office. We named our streets after the, the founding uh, uh, people, the Egan, Stones, McCarty's, and Tower. Mr. Tower is the, found, the family that owns Tower. So as going down to, uh, Tower Street, we'll have uh, retail stores on both sides, and the the retail will then swing across the street and go around. We'll have an inn and restaurants and retail at the end of the street in a courthouse building. Uh, all in total will be 95 different uh, businesses and uh, uh, 39 lofts. And, and uh, that will make up in, in 22 different buildings. You see eight buildings today. So uh, we're not even halfway. And we've already created a synergy. We feel around the square. In addition to this, we're going to add another neighborhood to this called Sawmill Lake. It will be 800 more mixed-use units around Sawmill Lake. We'll have a space for two inns, one 85-room inn and spa. It will be right on top of these oak trees over here, which we do plan on keeping the majority of those oak trees for the backdrop. Uh, we'll have a more affordable 75-room inn at the end of Egan Street. We'll have uh, a uh, outdoor amphitheater in the creek. Right back, of the, right back of the courthouse building, wedding pavilion, restaurant, a, a very high-end restaurant on the first floor. So as you can see, we're, we're, we're laying what we feel doing justice to the Copper Valley Community Plan and, and taking the town, making that the dense area as we get less dense out towards the lake. So that's a little overview of, of the town square. And uh, why don't we just uh, go over to the stores and cut some ribbons. Thanks. Supervisor Russ Thomas, ribbon cutting. PK. Watch your fingers. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Very good. There's your shark. mentioned one thing uh, that one of the goals that we have in the town square is to have several occasions and not just three or four big events during the year we'd like to have 
weekly events. Wednesday night is it will be copper night for the locals. Friday night music in the park. Saturday music. Sunday music. We're going to evolve through a lot of individual events that, that are good for the community and the retailers and not bring in 10,000 people at a time. So I just want to make that comment. Right, awesome. Let's walk over to Cruisers next. Cruisers. <laughs> process works, but Bill is charged to get it done this year. So, big chore, and along with Mr. Thomas here, our supervisor, we'll get the job done. Uh, yeah, before we uh, do cruisers, I just wanted to, I, I understand that people didn't hear what I was saying. It's a very important issue that I was talking about over at uh, uh, Fancy Pants. Uh, we don't plan on having three or four uh, events that bring 10,000 people in the town. <laughs> like some other communities do, we've decided to be a, a true country town for the for the community itself and for the business that are involved in it. So we're going to have uh, music in the park and locals night and a lot of different festivities throughout the year uh, just strictly for the, the, the community and the retailers. I just wanted to say that again. Uh, let me turn this over to you. I, I had to carry it because it was too heavy for Mr. Thomas. <laughs> 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 that soon and we'll have plaques on the buildings 
This building here is the old firehouse, and when we, that's why it has the, the bell. bells on the on the rooftop. And every building has a backstory, so it's it's kind of fun. We've all, it's all four sided architect, architecture, true buildings in, in the character of the mother. So Kirk said that he's giving away hats and things and drinks. So if anybody wants something free, now's the time. <laughs> everybody come get a hat. Yeah. <laughs> then we'll go across it. M we'll go across the M and C, uh, across the street. This color or black? Black. Uh, our Copper Valley Realty Office is downstairs. You're welcome to go through the Copper Valley Realty Office and see what's going on in the Copper Valley. And uh, another little comment I noticed is that people walking through landscaping, and we do plan on putting stepping stones through areas because this is going to happen. Yeah. But we will get it uh, a little bit more walkable through the landscape. I, I kind of noticed that when I first came. So, any of you to come inside and join us for this ribbon cutting? Oh, great. Okay, we have Lori and Supervisor Thomas cutting him and C's ribbon. To see the lofts, we have uh, a few agents that are here that can take you over, Randy Breezy, and I think some people have already went over. Yes, so. <laughs> there with, uh, with the uh, <coughs> Garcia. So, if anybody would like to see those, and, and, or just mill around, and uh, thanks for coming. Thank you, David. Thanks, Dave. Very good. Thanks, Jeff.